Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to Nerd News Today. And today we're taking a look at a favorite of Andrea's. Yeah. And for all the other Broadway fans out there, today we're taking a look at the Lights of Broadway trading cards. Yes, we're looking at the 2019 edition. So, Whee! yeah, you got a lot there. So we've looked at some of these in the past. We looked at, uh, what tell me, you've been collecting for a few years now. Oh, well, I mean, they came out, um, I believe, 2015, 2016? Uh, I know I started t around 2016. I think we looked at the autumn and spring for 2018. Looked at the Mega Mix as well. We looked at the Mega Mix. I believe we also looked at something from 2017. Yeah, I think mean, that's the first one we did. Yeah. And today we got 2019 now. Yeah, uh, and this year they're actually changing it up a little bit. Instead of splitting it up into two different seasons, they're making it slight, a slightly bigger wave, I guess. A more and robust it's just, wave. Yeah, it's more robust and it's just going to be the 2019 edition. Which, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely more helpful because it's not, it doesn't give you as big a sense of urgency, but it'll make you want to buy a lot more. So we have quite a few because, well, Broadway Con just happened, as you might have known, if you'd looked at some of the other videos, and yeah. You kind of binged hard. This is when I do most of my binging. I have a lot of fun doing that. You have a dangerous addiction that we feed here in the news today. I do, it's great. So let's go ahead and inject some Broadway <laughs> cards into Andrea's veins. I'm so excited. Let's switch to the overhead camera and take a look at the 2019 edition of Lights of Broadway show cards. And we're back. And I made these two nice little piles, one for me, one for Matthew. So that way we can get going on opening them up and showing you guys what's in this awesome collection. Who's going first? You're going to, I guess, yeah, you go first. Well, so again, there's a better look at the packaging this time around for the 2019 edition and on the back. You know, just again, explanation of what they are and how to find out more about them. Oh, I don't know, I'm having problems opening them this year. Tore mine open. Jeez. There I got. So I guess we'll start out. I'm going to lay them out like this. Maybe we'll do that way for a change of pace. Oh, look at that. Ooh. So here's my first five. We have an ensemblist card to kick us off. Jacqueline V. Arnold. We've got Julie White, Lonnie Ackerman, Taylor Mack, and the Kiss Me Kate Revival card. Ooh. I actually met Taylor Mack at the place I worked at, in fact. Oh, yeah, that's he was, right. Uh, and he was making videos, I think, for Gary. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Now let's see what your first five are. Okay. So my first my first set is Larry Kurt, Michael James Scott, Brent Barrett, Donald Holder, and the, you know, the royalty himself, Stephen Sondheim. And just so you guys can see the back as well, I didn't show you that yet, how these look this time around. These are really nice, have a lot of information, they have a little trivia question on the back as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I absolutely love this stuff. I mean, I love getting the trivia and everything. And the Ensembles cards have a purple back. Ooh. All right, my next batch, I've got James T. Lane, David Zippel, <gasps> Jeffrey Holder, Ooh! Susan Egan, Ooh. and my show card is the Wild Party. <gasps> ah, squee! Now, y'all at home might know Susan Egan as the voice of Vel in Beauty and the Beast, and also Megara in the Hercules animated movie. Mm-hmm. She's our original Belle, but hold on. Jeffrey Holder, Annie, the movie. Royalty. Who do you got? Oh, I, this looks like an exciting thing because I'm starting off with show cards. Raise, a Raisin in the Sun. Beetlejuice. Ooh, two show cards this mm -hmm. pack. Derek Baskin. John Gallagher Jr. And my first old-timey card. Sorry, golden card. What were we calling them again? I don't know. It's first black and white. It's old time stuff. It's Betty Garrett. It's Betty Garrett, and she's looking gorgeous. This Beetlejuice card is really awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little sad I didn't have that earlier when for Broadway Con. Yeah. But that's okay. They still look awesome. And oh my gosh. And yeah, we have to go see Beetlejuice ASAP. Before you Japan kicks out completely. Yep. But hey, Alex Brightman said that this was not the end. Starting me off. Ooh. Audrey McDonald. There's some royalty. Liz Larson. Nathan Lane. Ooh. Oh, I got a Beetlejuice dupe. I'm okay with that. And here's another one of those uh, black and white cards here. This is Burt Williams. Ooh, very cool. This is a great... Ooh. Some real big names in this one. I wonder what... Oh, I mean, Nathan Lane's been on Broadway forever, so I wonder what this exactly represents here. This is... It doesn't doesn't mention Gary, so I mean, it it basically ends at, at Angels in America of 2018. That's like the most recent one they list on this card. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what's meant to actually represent in this version of it. So for my next, again, I'm starting with a show cards. I have what the Constitution means to me. I have Adrian Warren, who's currently starring as Tina Turner, Amanda Green, 
Ooh, Dominique Morisseau. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I'm really loving the color scheme so far. Yeah. And since I know this is one of the slightly rarer cards, the Theater World Awards. Oh, interesting. I know he made cards for awards as well. Oh yeah, he's done for the Jimmy Awards. He's done for all sorts of cool things. Like really, if it's theater based, Squigs takes care of it. Well, my next batch, we've got another double. Ooh. Unfortunately, kicking us off is another Raisin of the Sun. The Share Show. Ooh. Which they look good together. Trip Coleman. Well, we got a real uh, interesting color scheme here going on. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. I got Joe Di Pietro, and uh, interesting. I got a Neil Simon Theater card. <gasps> so that's got a Ooh. mishmash of all sorts of different shows that have been at that theater. Let's take a look at the back. See if it's any different. Uh, no, okay, no. So it's just got a lot of trivia facts, some production talks about the key productions that have been in that theater. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, very nice. These are some nice ones. Yeah, this is a really nice set so far. We're, we've only barely gotten halfway through what we've got. Oh, you're gonna really like this one. Okay, forgive me if I butcher your name, sir, but I do love you. I got Andy M Minenta. Minentas. Is that Mi is Mientas? It? Why can't I pronounce his name? Somebody correct me, because I know I'm doing it wrong. Mintus. Mintus. I don't know. I just know he sings pretty. He sings so pretty. I got a dupe with Michael James Scott. That's okay. I got another Beetlejuice card. I got ah. Sophie Ann Caruso. She looks really much more uh, adult in this card. <laughs> she really does. But, oh, you're going to like this next one. Gary. Oh, there we go. There's Gary. So there is a Gary card in this pack. Mm -hmm. And because we, you have just had the Neil Simon, I have the new Amsterdam. Oh, those are pretty nice cards. I like those. I really like them. Oh, my God. I see Aladdin right there. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It's James Iglehart. Oh, yeah. All right there. <laughs> Boom. He just stands out. It's pretty great. And Lion King. Oh, these are so nice. I love how visible the Gary card is, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just, uh, these are just so much fun. And I love the, the color schemes going on here. Yeah, I like the different outlines he's using as well, different colors. Not just like black outline around these people. It's, you know, this is, it's really, really good. I, mean, I don't remember what the other cards look like, but it's a really good, strong set in terms of design and everything else, more so than previous ones, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'll say? The difference is actually, I'll show you guys how to put my next batch out. So I've got Terrell Alvin McCraney. Shuler Hensley. No, it's not O'Brien from Star Trek. Dominique Morisseau, okay, I've got. So and black and white, Imogene Coca. Wow, Ooh. real legendary there. And okay. guess what, Andrea? What? <gasps> oh my god, it's a waitress in particular! So well, that's great, because we can actually talk about one of the special cards that's in this. This is one of the super rare inserts. That is a lenticular card from Waitress. There's Those are pretty rare. Okay, let's see if we can. Yeah, totally showing up. Let's make sure it's in focus. Oh, yeah. Sugar. Butter, flour. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow. So I haven't actually seen a lenticular in person before, so <gasps> they're really, really cool. Oh I gotta say, god. like, wow. You know, I, uh, when, I, when I actually met Squigs at Broadcom for the first time, you know, I don't really know as much as you do, Andrew, about these cards. And I was asking about, like, special cards and inserts, and he mentioned the lenticular. And, uh, yeah, like, I don't think you've gotten one in video before with me. No. So this is my first time seeing it, and it, it's really great. Cause it is just a straight-up throwback to the cards of the 90s that uh, I used to love. So the back it looks like. So look at that. It's oh, lists all the people who play the lead. <gasps> that is so nice. Um, Ending it's... with Allison Luff from uh, last July. Yeah, but they are missing um, Jordan Sparks and a few. I think there are a couple others that were missing, but there's only so much that you can fit on this. And also, you know, timing. Cards have to go out and get made. But oh my god, that's wow. so cool. That's a great one. Okay. Wow. I'm like, do I even keep going? I yes. I think you have to because yes, yes. I still have two more packs here. And I have... Somehow have three. Well, we had an odd number of cards, of packs. Okay. So, you know. So I have Camille A. Brown. Oh, wow. Okay. So this one, I'm not sure how I feel about it because the hair, but it's Kylo Ren. Wow. Adam Driver. That's just... Kylo Ren gets his own Lights of Broadway card. Well, yeah, he was in Burn This on Broadway um, with Carrie Russell. And just in general, he's done, he's done stuff. He's a theater guy. He's, just kind of, he's kind of awesome, to be honest. Like, It's just like he looks so young and not Kylo-ish yeah. in this. <laughs> Although his color scheme is quite emo, so I'll give him that. That's very true. Good going, Squigs. Ooh, I got Jeremy Pope. Elton John. <laughs> I'm weirdly excited about that. I like that Elton John card. Yeah, and I got a new shoe card. Bring back Birdie. Interesting. I'm just like, Elton John, that's awesome. So I neglected to mention the last round of cards was uh, some of the design. So the last time I saw the cards, uh, the background of the cards in particular is mostly just like splatter paint stuff, yeah. which was fine. Uh, this time around, though, they have like the theater backdrop and all the people cards. And so it's a little bit better framed. And they're kind of like popping out of it, so... I gotta say, this is much more superior in terms of design than the previous ones. I've 
always liked the other backings. I think each time um, Squigs changes himself. Changes changes yeah. Uh, yeah, each time. And I've always liked that. I get what you're saying. I, I totally get it. But I kind of liked them all. I mean, I just like the contrast now, especially with yeah. like the you know the, the kind of spray paint background with the more designed, you know, the graphical design, I should say, elements here. Yeah. Uh, in the case of Elton John, I particularly like how his jacket is so glittery. Yeah. Like, it kind of fades. There's no outline for that. So I like that. Like, these are the design elements I'm really liking, and it shows a lot of maturity in how the artwork has come since Wave 1. Yes, I'll, I'll give you that. There's, I love how um, you can basically chart the progression of, you know, how much Squeaks has grown um, throughout got, all this. I got a Kylo Ren, of course, kick us off. Why not? <laughs> How about another double, another Neil Simon Theater? Cool. But I got Sam Mendes. Ooh. Yeah. And I got two show cards to finish me off. Another double of Kiss Me Kate. Ooh. And My Heart Will Go On. Aww. Titanic. Titanic. Which I can't believe was a show, but you know, in this day and age, what isn't a show? Sadly true, but Titanic at least isn't amongst this current crop of movie adaptations. You know, I guess. <laughs> okay, so for my next. I have a raisin in the sun. Oh, jeez, I'm going to butcher his name. I'm apologizing <laughs> right now. Um, Sar... Nagu... Na... Nagausha? I believe he's in... Is he in Moulin Rouge? I believe he's in Moulin Rouge. Oh, is he Toulouse Lautrec? Good possibility. Yes, he's... Oh, oh, dang it. He's the dude from Fella, too. He, he, he was the original Fella. Shamus? No. Anyway, Joanna Gleason, I'm so sorry, Sar. I one day will learn how to pronounce your name properly, I promise. Um, Terrence McNally, and oh my gosh, this card makes me happy. Cry baby. Wow, look at that one. Oh, I love that stupid movie. It's such a good stupid movie. So I have two packs left. I'm down to my last one. Okay. This let's... is it. So I've got starting us off. James T. Lane, Melissa Errico, Ooh. Mr. Butterworth, <laughs> Heidi Shrek, and lastly for me, Haley Podshun. Shun, Shun. Podshun? Sure. And this is an ensemblist card, uh, so that means also the back will be slightly different too. But yeah, so I, I guess the ensemblist cards are different colors as well. I thought they're all just going to be one color. No, I love, I love that. Yeah, yeah this time around. There are different colors. Yeah. The ensemble is still the thing right there. So. Okay, so for my last two, I have Damon Downo. Sure. I believe that's how we pronounce it. Again, I'm sorry for butchering some of these names. This one's exciting. It's Debbie Allen. That magenta. Mm -hmm. But she's going with Ashley Park. Ashley Pink, more like it. <laughs> Oy. Ooh, okay. Tootsie. That's wow. a really cool card. That is a good one. Yeah, that's, that's a really neat card. Yeah, the show cards are still my favorite. Yeah, I think so too. Though that one particular is like, ooh. And an ensemblist card, Christian Dante White. Oh, nice. That's a purple ensemblist mm -hmm. card. I like these. I, I, I just, I really like the backings. Now that I'm paying more attention to it, I really like how they look. I like having the, um, you know, the curtains and everything. It feels appropriate. And finally... Your last pack. My last pack. I'm so excited. I'm and sad because that means it's the last pack and I don't want it to be. Okay. It's only the last until you buy more. Very true. So we got Mark Crowley, a dupe of Jeffrey Holder. Oh, this one makes me smile. It's Olaf. Oh, wow. Josh Gad it's card. Josh Gad. A, oh. Oh, I'm about to squeeze. I'm sorry. Okay, so I have a dupe of the wild party, which again makes me super, super happy. But oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Viewers at home can't tell, but you're basically throttling me right now. But... Yeah, because I got a freaking lenticular. Whoa. Another lenticular of Hamilton. Oh, it's a Hamilton lenticular. <laughs> Everybody at home, be jealous. <laughs> wow, so one side is the Patriots, the so... other side is Kingy. You got no. Oh, no, oh, it's three sides? Yeah, they do. He just thought he do three. What, what sort of wizardry it's is this? Swings. So we got the guys, we got the ladies, and we got Kingy. What uh, sorcery is this that makes three in the lenticular package? Ah, sorry, oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that this is three also. Uh huh. Not six, but three. How freaking awesome is this? These cards are so cool, and I so rare. I, I think I have one other lenticular that I won. In a contest, 
I've never found a, a single singular lenticular, let alone two. Yeah. I, oh my uh, god. Well, I mean, to be fair, you made a pretty big investment here in these cards, so I'm glad it worked out for you. Oh my god. It was They're really, these lenticulars are amazing. I love lenticular cards. But these are gorgeous. And... Oh, so yours is just yours is a different backing, too. <laughs> yeah, well, do you really need to say much more? Everybody at home, I'm sure you all can just say that out loud. I could always say it for you, but it's those infamous words. Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hil Hamilton. And there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. Just you wait. So one thing I want to talk about with these cards, since we have them out here, uh, just to show you guys the back a little better, they're not numbered. No. So that's an interesting little thing. For you card collectors, that might drive a lot of you a little cray-cray. <laughs> but they're not numbered, so how you would organize these would really be, you know, up to you. If you want to do it alphabetical. Well, actually, so Squigs doesn't include a checklist into the card pack, which I, I totally get. Um, instead, what happens is you can download it off of the website. And that gives you the order. So basically, it's um, usually the, you know, there's your base set, and you'll get that in um, alphabetical order. And then you have your composers and lyricists and writers and everything. You'll have a section for that, a section for the shows, the rarer cards, the rarest cards, the shows that were off Broadway, the shows that didn't last very long, and then the specialty, other specialty cards. So. You can, when, when organizing the cards. Oh, yeah, and of course, the, you know, the Golden Age cards. There we go, Golden Age, that's what they're called. <laughs> you can order it according to the checklist, or you can just do it however you want. If you're trading, I recommend doing it according to the checklist. It will make your life a little easier. But otherwise, you know, just have fun with it. You don't need numbers on this. I feel like, other than, like, the, um, other than the giving back cards, which are, Cards that are signed by um, different theater people and that benefit a charity of their choice. Uh, other than those, those are numbered, those are rare. Those are very rare. So, but otherwise, I'm cool without having the numbers. And you guys know, I'm a card collector. I love cards. Cards are fun as hell. Sorry, Jeffrey Holder, I'm gonna replace you with Waitress Lenticular. <sighs> okay, I can't blame you there, but Jeffrey Holder is a god. So that's yeah, our look at the 2019 so... edition, and uh... I'm so excited. Clearly, yes, you are very, very excited. These are great link cards. I mean, this is definitely my favorite set so far. I'm, yeah. not, I'm definitely nowhere near as big of a Broadway fan as you are, but... That's because you haven't been as exposed, and we need to change that. Oh, goody. So, people, if you want to just send some suggestions as to shows that Matthew should see, please do. That way, when you go to BroadwayCon next year, you'll have even more knowledge and appreciation. Yes. But, yeah, these are, these are really, really nice cards. Like, this is absolutely my favorite edition that we've seen so far. I'm really loving that the addition to the theaters themselves. Yeah, that's a really nice thing as well. Uh, I gotta say, that I love having seen the lenticulars oh. finally. Like, wow. Oh my god, the lenticulars are so Now, cool. Now I want to get more of those. I just want those. <laughs> there like, aren't I'm that many. Hooked. I'm hooked. I want them all. Every single one that's ever been produced. Okay, people. He's willing to make, he, he, he's willing to throw down. You know, hit him up. Tell him what you need and want. <laughs> I'd love a special card where, you know, like Topps does their UFC or their pro wrestling cards. And they have like a piece of the canvas or a piece of the person's mm -hmm. outfit. Like, yeah, imagine if they had lights of Roy cards, but a, a piece of someone's actual costume from a production. You can't see Andrew's yeah. face right now, but she basically just orgasmed on camera. I did not. You were pretty close. Though. That was not what that face was. That's oh, debatable. Oh my god! But that would be. That was me thinking if that were to happen, it would cause a frenzy. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah, I mean that's the thing too. You could totally do it. Like, just get someone who's clothes out of the show or whatever. Just get their costume. And, you know, basically, the way that would work, too, is uh, Topps usually has, it'd be basically like a, a double or maybe triple thick card in some cases, because it has to hold a piece of fabric. So it's going to have to be a larger card. Um, but if you did something like that, I mean, wow. That I would... actually have a really cool idea, and I don't know if I should say it on, on camera, but I'm going to throw it out there because, you know what? I'm all for small businesses collaborating with each other. Um... There's a company called, um, I believe it's Scenery Bags. So it's Scenery Bags are basically they take the old theater curtains, you know, from the stages and everything, and they create these gorgeous bags out of them, you know. That would actually be kind of a cool thing. Yeah. Where, because I'm sure they have scraps that they can't use, that, you know, they can't use to make bags, but that sort of stuff could go into, say, a card. Exactly, And yeah. that'd be kind of a cool collaboration, and then you're literally getting a piece of the show. How amazing would that be? Like, that would make these cards go insane, more than they already are. Yeah, and I mean, the, the fan base for Lights of Broadway cards, they're pretty devoted yeah. and rabid, and it's amazing. So let's take a look at the Lights of Broadway 2019 edition show cards, made by Squigs. 
the one and only Squigs. Who is awesome, and maybe at some point we'll have him on this channel as well. We'll talk about Broadway cards. I would cards. love to do that. Yeah, so if you want to get your hands on these, Andrea, how do we get our hands on these? Well, you can get them from... <laughs> like playing it across the screen. You can get them from the lights of Broadway.nyc, or you can pick them up. Um, so you order them online that way, or you can go to uh, any of the theater circle um, shops in Broadway. If you live in New York City. Yeah, if you or if you're near New York City or coming in for any shows, just pick them up there. So there you go, folks. So it's a Broadway 2019 edition. Really nice. If you're a Broadway fan, I don't see how you don't have these already in your collection. These are so nice. And you got two lenticulars now. I'm so stupidly excited. Yes. So I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. We'll see you guys next time with some more show cards, probably, and everything else we do here on Nerd News Today. Yay!